look from the get-go like Max wasn't his typical self tonight. Do you attribute that to anything in particular? No, nah, he, he just – Max wasn't Max tonight. I mean, um, he threw 100 pitches in, in four innings. That's that's not him, who he is. So, uh, you know, he, he tried to keep us in the game. He always scored four runs, but he just wasn't himself. He was sweating through his hat, through his jersey. Like, did that concern you at all, just how he was feeling? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it was hot. You know, human. I mean, he, we had to give him a new hat in the one inning because, I mean, it was soaked, like, completely soaked. So, um, but he just, you know, I, I just, his location wasn't there. I mean, he just, he struggled. One of those, kind of, one of those that you said, hey, they're going to have a bad start, you're going to throw it out or just anything? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, hey, let it go. I mean, <laughs> uh, Max could be out there the next, you know, five days and, 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 and do his thing again, I'm sure. What was kind of going on with um, Last Diaz and Bryce and all that? Um, you know, I, I say this all the time, and, I, you know, I'm not going to make any comments on balls and strikes, you know, there, but um, umpire, umpires are supposed to be non-confrontational. They're supposed to uphold the peace on the baseball field. You know, for me, I think, I, you know, MLB needs to take a look at that. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to – I've known Last for a very long time. I'm not going to throw, throw anybody under the bus, but – you know, we were in a pivotal moment of the game, and he's saying things to to Harp, and I thought that was uncalled for, you know. Like I said, I've known him for a long time. I ran out there thinking I was going to get thrown out, but I said, you know what, I'm not. I mean, we're, we're, this is a big moment of the game. I'm going to stick, you know, and, and just tell Laz, hey, back off. Let him hit. Just let him hit back off. And um, he called a pitch on him that was, you know, pretty ridiculous. So, I mean, but, you know, hopefully MLB will take a look at it and decide what to do. Because Laz has been around so long and you know has has been through so much, does it surprise you when when he kind of carries it over into another inning and another at bat? Yeah, I mean, I, I, it did surprise me. Like I said, I've known Laz for a very long time, and I respect Laz. I really do. Uh, like I said, I respect all the umpires, but um, Laz and I go way back to the minor league, so uh, that's typically not him, you know. And, and you're talking about a premier player too in, in, in the league, so. Regardless of what the player, who the player is, I mean that's that's uncalled for. I know you'd rather have come in a win, but can you, just as a baseball fan, appreciate Soto and Acuna kind of going head to head, back and forth the way they were in at least the first half of that game? Yeah, I mean you're seeing two of the, pre- the two premium young players in, in in baseball right now, and um, uh, watch it, watching both of them, you know, it's, it, you know, I don't like Acuna getting those hits, and you know, but um, you got to appreciate the way they play the game. To have two players like that, I mean, is it almost stunning to you that there'd be 19 and 20 year old playing that maturely and playing that well at this stage of their careers? Yeah, I mean, it, it, it shows you know it shows how mature they are at that, that age. It really does, and you know, and we really, we have another one that's sitting with us right now that's really good too, you know, um, and he's going to be really good. So you're starting to see. Uh, you started to see what a trend of young young players coming up and and showing their talents very young.